of my favorite gifts was a fridge magnet that says, I would give up chocolate, but I'm not a quitter. And at the time, it was perfect for me, and for several years, it held true. Being a quitter has a negative connotation because we already know the importance and the value of steadfastness. To be successful in anything, we need consistency of our efforts towards our goal. Steadfastness is another one of those virtues that appears several times in the Bhagavad Gita as something that we need to cultivate. In chapter 13, the word stadium comes, and it's a little bit different here the way they talk about steadfastness. There's a lovely story I had heard about a prisoner of war camp. One of the prisoners being held in this concentration camp was determined not to be brought down by the circumstances. So he sat in the courtyard, took out his guitar, and started singing. It brought so much joy and life to all the inmates. And of course, the, the wardens and the guards thought this is not going to help the atmosphere of prisoner of war, and so they dragged him in. And because he was so uh, hard to convince not to do it, they chopped off his fingers. So cruel in those days what they would be allowed to do. He came back to the courtyard the next day, and to everyone's surprise, he took out his guitar and with whatever he could, he played and he sang cheerfully. Again, everyone gathered around him with such uplifted spirits. The wardens this time thought this is not helping at all, so they smashed the guitar. This did not stop him. The next day at the courtyard, without a guitar, he sang with a full heart of joy and danced. People gathered around him, again uplifted in their spirits, cheered him on. The warden was so frustrated, pulled him in and cut off his tongue. A hushness came over the concentration camp, equivalent to death. People were so angry, so sad. But to everyone's surprise, the next morning, the man was back out in the courtyard dancing and swaying to a music only he could hear. I love this story because it shows us the word stereo, steadfastness in joy, steadfastness in faith, and in being who we are.